Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is the first time in two weeks that I am saying that. That feels weird. I remember that we lost on our last run. I'm gonna start again as Isaac just to kind of keep the cycle where I know it. I think we probably lost as Judas or Blue Baby last time now that I think about it. Uh, but that was two weeks ago. Kate and I have returned from uh, an extended stay away. I forgot that I need to get a pencil and write this stuff down. Alright, let's do this. Uh, 7XCYBW77. 7XCY. B W seven seven. Couple things to say. I, I have not uh, been out of practice that much when it comes to rebirth. You know, we we brought some electronic devices. That sounds really sinister. Uh, with us overseas, I played a lot of uh, Isaac while we were on trains, planes, and the occasional boat. And uh, you know, one thing I gotta say. Hey man, Vita version of Isaac, please at some point add a gamma setting to that. I'm gonna reroll it. Uh, that is an excellent reroll, actually, especially considering how money equals power synergizes with a lot of trinkets. But um, you know, I, I played a lot of the Mac version of it, and it, it works fine. The, the Vita version is okay. It's just it, it's hard getting used to Curse of Darkness actually being super, super dark to the point where you can't even see the doors, much less the enemies that you're actually facing. But I, I performed okay. You know, I, I've kept my my skills up. Hopefully, I mean, just on the plane yesterday, I won five or six in a row. Um, while also, you know, battling turbulence, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. The other thing I want to say is that, uh, well, first off, before I say anything else, I just say thank you for the support while I was gone. You know, I know it can be frustrating to have, uh, you know, a content creator be away and then you're leaving comments. Rest assured, I got a lot of those comments. I was reading the subreddit kind of religiously. Apparently because I'm a masochist, because there were a lot of pretty enormous mistakes that were made in some of those runs. But uh, I, I'm, I'm rethinking my approach to play a little bit. Just tweaking it slightly, you know, I, I've been doing okay. Probably batting around like, you know, 80-85% when it comes to these runs. But, you know, I get jealous sometimes. I saw that, ooh, this is pretty good. I saw that Cobalt busted off like a 152 streak or something like that. A 125 streak, and I was like, you know what? I want, I want to have a crack at something like that at some point. One of the things that probably people will be very grateful to hear is that uh, I'm planning on maybe lessening the focus on boss rush so much. There probably were some runs where a focus on boss rush got me killed. It wasn't that I was, you know, trying to throw those runs or anything along those lines. You know, the most important thing for me along with winning and hopefully providing some entertaining commentary is to... Um, well, along with providing some entertaining commentary, is to win, I should say, because, you know, even when I lose sometimes, or even when I win, sometimes people get super angry about the way that I won. So I, I try to make sure, you know, give people the least reason to be perturbed as possible, because I'm a little bitch. But, um, yeah, I think Boss Rush probably cost me a little bit strategically. That torn photo pickup is really good. I'm going to look for the secret room, which I normally don't do at this point, but it should be really easy for us to find, and the money could be very important, considering we have money equals power. It would be awesome to stack up some, you know, fat damage increases right off the bat. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more diligent. Yeah, it was probably still worth it. I'm going to try to be a little bit more diligent about, um, not going to boss rest, which is kind of like a weird way to phrase that, but what I mean is I'm going to try to spend a little bit more time on floors, min-maxing just a little bit more, but hopefully still keeping that same kind of Northern Line absurd bent that uh, that people enjoy. Because I'll, I'll probably never be the best Binding of Isaac Rebirth player in the world, but if I, you know, practice and I actually, you know, uh, you know, use all the tools at my disposal, I think I can actually be pretty good. My goal for 2015 is to at some point pull off a triple digit streak. I know it seems ridiculous considering that my best streak ever was kind of an unprecedented like 26. Unprecedented for me, of course. 26. But man, I think we got it in us, honestly. I think it's it's going to be a long road, but uh, and you know, obviously it's pretty easy for a, a triple digit streak to get derailed, you know, get to fucking 82 and then bust off a bad run. But I really want to, you know, I'm giving myself a, a wide window to make it happen. Judgment's probably better. I don't really want to spend money, but it could be a demon judgment. Um, and we, you know, if we use the judgment and we decide that we don't want to spend the money, we don't have to. Anyway, um, we'll, we'll, we have a long time to deal with that. You know, we have 11 months or so to deal with um, getting to that triple digit streak. And it may or may not happen, but I think it's a good goal to strive for. You know, everyone always focuses on the. Uh, yeah, we gotta put it here. Everyone always focuses on the end point of the goal. Oh, you didn't reach your goal? 
that sucks. You reached your goal. Great job. But the it is worth it. The um. There's a secondary thing, you know, you learn stuff as you pursue a goal. If somebody says, I want to lose weight, you know, for my New Year's resolution, and then they end up not losing weight, they might treat that, you know, a year later they're the same weight or heavier, they might treat that as a, a huge loss, but, uh, hey, maybe... Oh, no, Curse of the Blind. Well, at least we can't get Ghost Baby from our deal with the devil. Um, you know, if they learn something about nutrition or they learn something about exercise in the process, hey, you know, it's a, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, right? I think that's progress. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to get at is, you know, my goal of getting to triple digits is not just so I can hang a certificate on my wall. It's like, I got a triple digit streak. GG, amazing. It's more so I can, you know, hone my skills and my consistency over the course of that. But anyway. We'll continue onwards here. Um, yeah, this is fine. It, it's Money equals power early is one of those things that's awesome, but also always throws me for a loop just a little bit. I'm always like, do I really want to go to a shop and buy something? Uh, and the answer, now that I think about it, is definitely no on a floor where we have Curse of the Blind. That was, uh, it was stupid to even use the key there. I can't believe I'm going to get out of this without getting hit by a bomb. Um, yeah, it was stupid to use the key there. That's okay, though. Shit happens. Now, is there anywhere... I did not mean to use that, by the way. That was me getting used to the keyboard after using the Mac keyboard for so long. We There's not going to be a secret room there. That's a given. There could be a secret room here. We should take a look. In fact, there's probably a secret room here. Alright, that's pretty big. And that's a lot of money. Uh, it's very tempting to give something to this judgment, but at the same time, we already have plus 1.2 damage from money equals power. I'm kind of thinking, I mean, it's it's a difficult thing to say, because that judgment is not going to be around forever. Um, and we can always get more money, you know? You usually end up spending money and, and staying around a, a fairly low level in the super early game, and then after you get past the mom fight, you gain more, because there's very little to spend it on uh, once you run out of shops, but... I think I'm really enjoying this damage right off the bat, and I might just stick with it. So little Steven is okay, and I, since this is only one heart, we'll take it no matter what it is. And it's Dark Bum. That's pretty good, actually. So honestly, I think we're just going to say, you know, I fucked up that judgment a little bit. We're going to leave it, and I'm leaving behind the Emperor card because I'm an asshole, and uh, let's move on here. I mean, I'm, I'm so tempted, by the way, to check the clock and be like, how are we doing for boss rush? But I'm not going to do it. Not gonna enable myself like that. Now, there will still be times when doing boss rush is the right decision. When we get an item out of it, you know, if we have a teleport card, anything along those lines, it could be the right decision. But, you know, to some extent, not that I'm quitting it cold turkey here, but saying I'm gonna quit it cold turkey will keep me from even being tempted, you know? It's like, if you're addicted to a substance, maybe, you know, it's better to go cold turkey than to, well, you know, you might get yourself killed with withdrawal symptoms or something there, but, you know, if it's better to just not buy it than to say, I'll buy a little and then just have a little bit, you know, every single day. I think it's better to, to just not even give yourself the choice here. So I'm going to kind of hand, hamstring myself, and I just check the time out of habit. I'm going to hamstring myself a little bit from uh, getting to boss rush in the hopes that it helps me play better. But anyway, we're not going to, you know, Isaac's a game, I love Monsters Long, we'll totally take it. Isaac's a game of, uh, of consistency, I really feel, once you get past a certain level of, of adequacy. And I, you know, as much as people love the kid, I think I am past a certain level of adequacy in Isaac. What's our curse? No curse. So we will go to our shop. And the map is kind of tempting, but at the same time, I'm not totally convinced that I want to give up damage for it, especially with something like Monstro's Lung. Anyway, what I was trying to get at before I completely lost my train of thought is Isaac's a game of consistency, so losing um, one run or winning run one run doesn't necessarily mean that uh, our strategy is right. You've got to, you know, test it over a long period of time. Is the jury still out at all over Monstro's Lung? Or do people just genuinely, generally, I should say, agree that, that Monstro's Lung is pretty sweet? The bad thing about it, and it's not insignificant, you know, it's the reason, one of the reasons at least, that I took some damage back there. Um, the reason that some people dislike it is because of the fact that it takes four fucking ever. Wow, that was terrible. To charge a shot. That's meaningful, man. I might end up losing out on a deal with the devil here. That's not Monstro's Lung's fault, but... Um, it, it, it doesn't help. So if we get up our tiers, that would be awesome, but our damage is so good, and it synergizes nicely with a lot of different things. I like most of the charge shots in Rebirth in general. Chocolate Milk really did a 180 for me. 
Well, we got Placenta, which is okay. Maybe a Krampus fight would be nice. Uh, I'll reroll them both. Yeah, I'll take the Pentagram. The Goat Head is a, it's a bit of a wild pickup. It's doable. We would live, but I, I don't think it's the right play. I think it's smarter for us to just kind of, you know, not live so far on the wild side. The Pentagram for the extra damage. I mean, you could argue that Goat Head is actually better than Pentagram because it'll give us the, the, a huge opportunity for way more damage in the future. Um, but I'm I'm content with our situation here, and I don't want to I don't want to blow it. Are you a wizard? Amnesia, and for the trifecta, explosive diarrhea. I did not expect that third pill to be bad, but it did fit the narrative better that it was. So there's that. All right. Well, you know, actually, I would love to open both of those. I think I'm gonna go back. No, I'm just gonna head down to the next floor. I was thinking I'd buy a key, open both of those, but then we really encounter a problem if we uh, buy a key, open both of them, and don't get any keys back. I would expect to get either keys, money, items, or bombs, and in some combination thereof, you know, some it wouldn't just be like you know 40 cents probably. Although if it was, that might be good. But I would like to have keys for the next floor anyway, especially since we have a D6. So seems relatively smart for me to check this out. So. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I want to play this Blood Bank, one of which is that boss trap room. Another one is, of course, the fact that we have money equals power, so the more money we get, the better our damage is. This might be one of the situations that was really bad, and now I'm scared. Uh, this might be one of the situations where I would love to maybe pick up a, uh, a spirit heart from our shop, like actually spend some money here, and then that'll open up those two different things for me. Also, where is where's our red heart so that Dark Bum can start getting some spirit hearts paid out here? I mean, I guess we shouldn't really be banking on... Oh, Placenta, thank you. We shouldn't really be banking on... Um, on buying a spirit heart if we could just have Dark Bum pay out with one, but that also has not really been happening thus far. We haven't had a luck upgrade, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't be focusing on, you know, the idea that we'll get some sweet consumable drops or anything like that. How do I feel about this run? Usually this is around the time where I start to start to talk about, you know, my thoughts and my feelings on this run. And, you know, Monstro's Lung, combined with Money Equals Power, combined with the Pentagram, the extra damage we have, it's feeling pretty good. But we're in a, a bit of a vulnerable place right now as a result of our lack of HP. And we've gotten, we've only gotten one HP. We also got Torn Photo, which I think is, is really helping us out with Monstro's Lung, lessening the effects of that really long charge time. Gonna try for, uh, yeah, thank you, Dark Bomb. Oh, Steven, you fucked me. You fucked me, Steven. I didn't ask to be fucked, but you did it nonetheless. This is very bad, thank you, Placenta, although I think I'll still die in one hit. Just gotta stay far, far away. Close enough, if possible, that we could actually, like, uh, knock them out of the ooze state at the same time. Because it does take us a little while to get going here. We got a pill. We got a lot of pills. Paralysis. Not very good. I don't want to take this. A little scared. Attack fly. I think attack fly is honestly good enough. Plus, if I stall here for a second, Placenta has a chance to heal us. Hmm, this is scary. Do I take the pill? Do I take the pill? I take the pill. Uh, it's okay. Why Why even go back for paralysis? That's a good question. I'm kind of living on the razor's edge here. One of those weird runs where we've had some really good items drop, just not necessarily ones that are super conducive to survival right now. I'm still... Oh, Placenta healed us a little bit, I think. Let's throw a bomb down there. If we get anything out of this, I'll consider this a, a win. Yeah, we got all of it. So that's pretty good. I think we owe uh, little Steven, or maybe even Ghost Baby, God forbid, our thanks there. Let's throw a bomb down here, see if this is our secret room. All right, money please. That's a decent amount. I can live with it. It's a habit. I'm sorry. Gotta check the time. Now, we could get some tarot cards for bombs. That might not be a bad idea. In fact, it might be an amazing idea that I'm not going to take you up on right now. Now, normally this is just a heinous room. But I actually think because of the fact that we have such high burst damage. Get out of there. Get out of there. Um, because of the fact that we have such high burst damage, it should be 
fairly easy for me to actually take these guys out. Oh, oh, my keyboard's messed up. My keyboard. What's going on? Oh, you know what it is? I got a freaking Skype message. Is it who I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, it's not Mathis. Call off the attack dogs. Are we still getting the weird keyboard thing here? No, but the frame rate sucks. But it'll fix itself. Here we go. This is a tool-assisted speedrun now. That was relatively easy, thankfully. We we're at full HP, so placenta must have gone when I was not really uh, in a position to pay attention. Burst damage is it's something I'm starting to become acquainted with in, in Isaac. Ever since realizing that uh, Eve's Mascara doubles your damage for the cost of having your fire rate, I started to think about burst damage. Would you rather have burst damage or, like, kind of more incremental damage? I think you'd rather have burst damage. This is one of the few things I, I think is worth paying for here. Uh, a humbling Bundle will cost us basically 0.6 damage and 15 cents. Um, but it'll it'll give us so much more money over the course of the game. Not to mention other consumables, you know, Red Hearts, uh, pretty much invaluable. This is basically making Dark Bum twice as useful uh, in situations where, you know, it's the end of the room that's giving us the, the Red Heart anyway. Is it the end? No, there's one more left. Are you kidding me? How about this time? There we go. Yeah, so it's going to double the rest of the consumables that we're going to get for the rest of the game, which is extremely important. We've pretty much got zero chance of getting a deal with the devil here. It's not a literal zero, but it's it's down there. We'll see if we can maybe get super, super lucky. And of course, you know, as I always mention, Mega Fatty is a, a really good chance to test how your damage is doing. And honestly, I think our damage is doing oh, so bad. Now we have a 0% chance. <clears throat> maybe less than zero, actually. Um, but, uh, we're, do we're doing totally decent damage. Maybe we'll just get lucky, get a decent drop here. Yeah, it's decent. It's not great, but it is decent. Now we're gonna try to do this, uh, old ye old blood bank extravaganza here, along with the boss rush room. Boss trap room, sorry, not boss rush. So if there is a spirit heart, I will buy one. And my thinking for this... Too bad we didn't get old bandage. That would work out really well for us, but uh, it's okay. Actually, let's do this last room here. All right, well, might get a red heart or some kind of penny drop or something. Either way, not really that much time went into that, so that's all right. We're going to go back. We're going to play our blood bank as much as possible. Get money. We may... Yeah, I'm going to check this out. We may launder some of that money through, like, a slot machine to try to win some more stuff. And actually, now that we have... Sun, Wheel of Fortune. Probably best to take the Sun with us, even though it's tempting to use it as full health to play the Blood Bank more often. Uh, eh. You know, you, you could probably make a case either way. The Sun card is more useful in the late game, though, for sure. So I think we, um... Wow, that's really lucky. Just keep this up, and I'm really glad that before playing the Blood Bank, we did get Humbling Bundle, because that's going to allow us to probably pay for itself, if I had to guess. So let's pop Wheel of Fortune down. I'm going to blow both of these up. We could play them. You know, I think both options are, are viable. I wanted those red hearts instead of letting Dark Bum pay out, but, you know, it did work out for us nicely that way as well. Dark Bum paid out pretty well. I'm going to take this half heart for myself so I can get two more cents out of it. And, um, yeah, now we're up to 40 cents, so not quite where we wanted to be, but that's okay. I think Aquarius is good, but is it good enough? Ah, I'd rather have a second attack fly. All right, that's pretty good. Not a not a huge gain for us there on that reroll, but I would rather have a, a second attack fly than have Aquarius. I used to think Aquarius was borderline great, but then I I, I kind of just thought about it. <laughs> I was like, eh, maybe it's like, it, how often does Aquarius end up being like considerably useful? Never. It's always like a little useful, but you know, no. Let's put it this way: You want a piece of gum? Nobody's gonna say I don't want a piece of gum. You're gonna give me a piece of gum for free? How many of you have gum as your favorite food? Don't try to tell me gum isn't a food. But you put it in your mouth, you can eat it. So it can be a food. Uh, I'm gonna take it. So you might be saying, give Dark Bum that shit. You know, that's the whole reason you got him there. And I normally would, except for the fact that we had this blood bank. So I, I want the cash, and uh, on top of that, there's a chance for the full HP upgrade payout, but, you know, we basically just earned 10 cents as a result of that pickup, which is 0.4 damage, which is pretty good. So we still have our sun card as well, in case things go terribly wrong. Pretty good chance at a deal with the devil on the next floor. Good bombs, good keys, good money, good damage. Would like uh, a better rate of fire. 
Is there any? Do we want to buy the map? Maybe. Oh, we, it's sharp plug. I, I know the I know the value of sharp plug. Sort of. <laughs> I know on paper I know the value, uh, but I don't really know if if it's a good fit for us here. Why why rock the boat? You know, we're, we're, the boat's going fine. We don't need to rock the boat right now. Curse of the unknown. So we can't see our HP. Honestly, that should be totally fine. I think we got some flies there. Yeah. I don't love this room when it doesn't immediately pay out, but two extra spirit hearts at the end restores my faith in uh, humanity a little bit. I mean, the game was developed by humans, so the sentence isn't as ridiculously stupid as maybe it sounds, or sounded at first blush. Loving my double attack fly action here. What do we need on this floor? I mean, did we get any extra HP? I think we have three HP. That's for you, Dark Bomb. No blood bank coming on this floor. Um, and uh, another reason why we wouldn't want to take that HP right now is because if we're getting a blood bank ugh, on the next floor, um, you know, we would be expecting Placenta to give us some regen in the process. That was pretty lucky. Uh, pills. Paralysis and... not telepills. Health down. Well, as long as we have spirit arts, we can't kill ourselves via a deal with the devil, so I'm not 100% concerned about that, but... You know, it's obviously not the way that I'd wished events had gone <laughs> in an ideal world. Oh yeah, the monstro's lung damage is pretty nice right now. Totally whiffed on that monstro's lung shot and still got the kill, which is a good indication of how we're doing here from a, a damage perspective. That's all yours, Dark Bum. Pay out with more spirit hearts that gives me better uh, survivability after I take a deal with the devil, which I would expect to get on this floor. Honestly, I don't like Mini-Mush that much anymore. Gives us extra speed plus range. I don't think we really need either of those right now, to be honest with you. Payout? Mm, I thought maybe we got lucky with the cycle there. That's okay. So I'm going to reroll Mini-Mush with the knowledge that we might not be able to reroll. Ah, that's excellent. Great orbitals here. We might not be able to reroll whatever we get on our deal with the devil as a result of this, but we could probably buy a battery or just take as long as necessary to, you know, get the charge. If we need to. Child's Heart, by the way. Uh, a really nice drop for us. Gives us more red hearts. Most obvious uh, consequence of that is that Dark Bum's going to pay out with a lot more spirit hearts. That's how. It, that's the idea, anyway. Um, and maybe those extra red hearts could be leveraged into more money and then more damage via a deal with the devil. Or via a blood bank as well. Terrible damage there, by the way, on my part. Can't offer too much in my own defense. Now, what would really tie this run together at this point is uh, if we got some... That was awesome, by the way. If we got some uh, piercing slash penetrative shots. So every shot from Monstro's Lung hit every enemy that was kind of in its path. That would just be exceptional. This is a bit of a weird call here. Uh, Money equals power early. I said, hey, there's a lot of trinkets that synergize with this. And there are. And now we have a choice between two of them. I mean, Ch Child's Heart is more of a dark bum synergy, but it does have some synergy with Money equals power thanks to Blood Banks. The poop... Petrified poop, I should say, is... I should stop breaking the poop if possible, but it's hard to do with Monstro's Lung. Um, the poop gives us a little bit more money reliably, but at the same time, I don't think it's as useful this late in the game. There's a little bit less poop that shows up at this stage of the game, I'd say. We got a decent number of bombs and, uh, you know, humbling bundles, so I think, why not try to blow these all up? We want to do one more room before we fight our boss. Very unfortunate, because I'd rather just fight the boss right away. Because we're right there, but again, I'm trying to take my time a little bit more. And I think, you know, just being a little bit more detail-oriented could take us to the point where I'm winning, you know, 4 out of 5 runs consistently. To the point where maybe we're winning 9 out of 10 runs consistently. That would be nice. Champion's Belt. I will buy it. Because, uh, you know, damage is... The damage from Champion's Belt is permanent. The damage from money equals power, we can build back up. So, you know, especially with Humbling Bundle, I would expect to pretty soon be in a situation where we have 60 cents again, or, you know, 62, whatever we were at. And then we'll have the added bonus of having the Champion's Belt damage along with it. Cage. Annoying boss, but, uh, you know, by himself is not nearly as bad as he is later in the game. Double or even triple cage room is just a goddamn nightmare. So if you could just... 
Ooh, stay right there. This is the annoying attack. I, yeah, that, that was Gluttony that got me there, but it, it was a result of the fact that uh, he was doing that jumping attack with the homing spikes that is so goddamn annoying. So Krampus is already dead. He dropped Lump of Coal. That's pretty good. We went to our item room on this floor. We went to our shop. You know what? Let's do some more exploration, though. I should be looking for secret rooms whenever possible. And, uh... Well, what, what kind of floor is this? This is Depths 1. Yeah, this is fine. The Lump of Coal pickup is, is okay. It helps. Maybe not uh, the most majestic thing that we could have gotten, but it saved us a reroll. Because if it had been Krampus' head, we would have rerolled the shit out of it. Let's try here for Secret Room. We got enough bombs. Should be easy enough to find. I'm almost glad the secret room wasn't in the second location I looked for there, because that would have meant that I wouldn't have had to take so much spirit art damage going to the curse room. It functionally makes no sense for me to hope the secret room isn't there, because this is just going to cost me more bombs, but it's like a psychological thing, you know? It's like some, you know, Monty Hall problem shit. You're like, if you pick door number one and it's the second best prize, you don't want to see, you know, what's behind door number two, if that's the one that you were thinking about taking otherwise. Unless it's the goat. In which case, you would probably prefer it that way. Now, our speed kind of sucks, which is, well, it's not the only reason I'm taking damage on that room, but it's one of the reasons I'm taking damage on that room, I promise. Okay, we're all right. I really like this, like, triplicate uh, orbital system we've got set up with here. That is extremely nice for me, especially, you know, as I do dodges. Finally. As I do dodges, I will get, uh... Some kind of extra damage. I guess it's between the item room and the shop. The secret room, that is. Alright, that was, uh, I had to use 100% of my brain power to make that one work. But it worked, and that's the important thing. I think this run is set up very, very nicely. Especially with the HP that we got on this floor, plus the extra damage that we got on this floor. Uh, plus the spirit arts we got on this floor, floor plus the fact that we're going to get a little bit more damage here, for, or a, a steam sale, I guess. Which wouldn't be bad. Nah, it's just a lot of money. That's, that's much better. So that's going to take us a little bit past 63 cents. So we picked up a lot of damage via Champion's Belt, Lump of Coal, and the money that we picked up. And, you know, Monstro's Lung helps. The HP is important. Hopefully a Blood Bank on the next floor. And we can, we can really, really get close to that 99 cent threshold. We are about one marquee deal with the devil item away from calling this a one run, but we've been, we've been checking the things off the, the checkbox pretty regularly here, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Stop giving me shit for not calling things one runs, by the way. I've been calling one runs all the time now, but the circle jerk just continues. Hey, oh, we go Mom's Knife Polyphemus, it's not a one run, right? I've been calling that shit one run for like two months. All right? Don't let me stand in the way of your easy karma with reality here. I'm just trying to say. All right, we got a big room. I mean, we're we're cutting through enemies pretty quickly here. The only thing that makes this worse than like, well, I mean, there's a couple of things, but the most obvious thing that makes this worse than like a brimstone mom's knife is uh, the, the damage is comparable, I think, with what we've got going on right now. This is pretty good, but also annoying. Um, is, is the fact that the charge time is so long. Like, if you miss with a Mom's Knife charge, you can usually, you know, get back in there pretty quickly. Uh, if you miss with a Monstro's Lung charge, as we have it right now with a relatively low rate of fire, uh, it takes, takes a little bit more time to make things happen here, but we've gained a, a lot of damage from this Blood Bank right off the bat. Up to 82 cents. Uh, I guess, yeah, Dark Bomb, you can just take that. Once we get to 99, that might be enough damage for us to... Yeah, no thank you. That might be enough damage for us to just roll with uh, this and not have to worry about damage for the rest of the game. I probably should have gotten those pills, but, you know, you'll, you'll forgive me, I think, because pills have been pretty terrible for us thus far on this run. And I don't remember uh, all of them. I'm not going to take the left hand. Uh, our, our guppy chances are quite low. We don't need red chests for the chance to get spirit hearts because we already have dark bum and our spirit heart gain is going to be pretty good as a result of that. I think we're we're in the right to stick with child's heart here. I mean, child's heart is kind of like it, it's giving us spirit hearts anyway because when red hearts drop, then dark bum gets them and converts them. Health down uh, is is possibly useful for reasons that I'm sure at this point are, are likely obvious if you've played a lot of Isaac yourself. You know, a health down pill becomes a health up pill if you only have one health, which is 
completely conceivable because we're going to be trying to do a lot of deals with the devil. Very poor performance for me on this floor, but that's all right. That was weird. I think we had a situation where the... One of two things happened. I killed that Teratoma and the spiders died quickly because of the Monstro's lung shot. Or I killed that Teratoma and... Uh, oh, this is beautiful. I forgot that our donation machine was fucked, by the way. Uh, or I killed that Teratoma and the spiders didn't spawn because there was a skull occupying the same space as them. I'm not sure. You know, I... Again, I'm a little salty over the reaction to the donation machine stuff because people were like, but I mean you're you're right, you know. You told me not to not to risk it. You told me to blow that shit up right off the bat. As soon as I hit 999. It's kinda like Who cares? To some extent? Like It it doesn't make an appreciable strategic impact because I still have a bank of like a hundred and twenty cents that I can draw from. And obviously, it's a little bit cheap on this run to be like, see, we don't need the bank, we already have 99 cents when we've gotten Humbling Bundle and stuff like that, but... Anyway, I don't, I don't think it's that big of a strategic deal, it's more of just a funny moment. And I'm, I'm all for creating funny moments, it's just annoying... Man, pills. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's just annoying when those funny moments stop being funny because people were like, look at the strategically suboptimal play you've made. Just, uh, you lay back, have some fun, it's okay. Um... So that money will save just in case we go to our shop on this floor, which we have not been to yet. Had to double check. Kind of poor play uh, in a couple of different ways for me on this floor thus far. It's all right though. You know, we, we've got a good setup. We've got our sun card, got a lot of keys, got a lot of bombs, got very good damage, could always be better. Samson's chain is, it, it depends. I think Samson's chain is is rerollable. Um, Pandora's box at this point gives us twenty cents, which is not very good. So I think, and there's no battery in here though. So what would I rather have? Like, I think we reroll this room. And honestly, I think we buy nothing. But you, you know, it's possibly justifiable to buy the spirit heart. I guess we should buy something because it'll be for free. If we're gonna buy anything, I guess we should buy Hive Mind. Does that make our uh, our orbital flies bigger? And this is a really good opportunity to test that. If it makes our orbital flies bigger, then it's a no-brainer. Bogo bombs, I don't think is that worth it right now. I'm probably not gonna use bombs very much in the rest of the game. No, okay, it doesn't make our orbital flies bigger. Well, if we become Guppy, then there's value. I'll buy the Spirit Heart. Uh, I'm not going to get to reroll Samson's Chains, nor am I going to get to reroll... Oh, I'm Lord of the Flies! Oh, okay, that was a good pickup then. So basically, I just bought the ability to fly, which is awesome. Uh, and then we'll open this up in here, and we'll get some money and some extra HP via Dark Bum. Presumably, at least. That was very dumb damage on my part. And we'll get back to our maximum HP cap as well. All right. Lord of the Flies, you know, it's, it's the worst transformation out of the two by far, but it's still okay. And mostly it's for the passive ability to fly. I won't be able to reroll anything here, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, actually, you know what? Now that we have the ability to fly, the Samson's Chain pickup is not so bad. Not, not that it was ever bad in the first place. There's some good stuff associated with Samson's Chain. It, it's just not that good. But now that we can fly, it's a lot easier to put this over rocks and stuff like that. So, let's see what we get here on the mom fight. I am hoping, of course, for a, a deal with the devil, and if there is a benevolent force in the universe, maybe a... So bad. A deal with the devil that uh, actually has good items that don't require rerolls. Any kind of damage increase would be awesome, but okay, that is, it's fine. We'll take our Polaroid. We'll take whatever spirit hearts we get here. Hopefully there's spirit hearts at least. Yeah, it was a nice payout. And we'll head down to the next floor. So this is a deal with the devil that's pretty important, but I really do think we have the pieces in place to just win this run. Uh, as is. And I don't think that's like a very brave or bold claim to make either. I'm just saying, you know, I think we're in a pretty good position even if nothing ends up uh, really coming down the pipeline for us. I mean, we're two-shotting Polycephalus. It's an enemy with relatively low HP. Thank you, Placenta, for putting me at that half-heart interval and saving me from having to engage in a conversational thread that I was going to bore people to death with. Um, yeah, like, I, I, we're in a good situation. Polycephalus doesn't have a ton of HP, but it is encouraging that we're killing him so quickly. And that's the value of burst damage, you know? These enemies that, uh... These enemies that, uh... Are annoying because they stick around 
for like two seconds and then, you know, hide themselves. That's where burst damage really becomes valuable. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of point in playing this forever, unless it pays out for us, but there we go. We got one sand out of it. If it paid out, it would be awesome, even if it was the IV bag, because we could just re-roll it. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably not worth it, in my opinion. I guess we should start picking up red hearts now, because we're at the HP cap. Uh, for now, at least. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's probably not worth it, because we don't need the money. And we don't need keys, we don't need bombs, so, you know, what are we trying to gain out of opening some iron chests? Having, I'll, I'll open an iron chest if it shows up. But if I have to fight enemies for the privilege of opening the iron chest, uh, who, who cares, really? Iron chest, silver chest, whatever. Probably should have taken damage at some point there, but that's okay. Oh, please. Oh my god. The pills, man! I mean, everything else in this run has been pretty lucky, but the pills have been just god-awful. So again, having orbitals, very nice for enemies like this. Monstro's Lung also counters them pretty well, I guess, but, you know, doppelgangers are annoying. Sometimes, depending on the run that you have going on. Shot speed can also counter them pretty well. You know, low speed plus that tractor beam fucked me pretty good there. Sorry. I apologize for my language. Fucked me pretty well. Improper conjugation there. Oh, do you think I was going to apologize for the fact that I swore? No, no, no. You see, this is I'm an adult. Um, so I can use lazy language as much as I want. Is that a tinted rock? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, well. <laughs> Not so good, I guess. Hey, we got a luck upgrade. That's actually pretty good. It's actually very good for our chances of getting drops, which synergizes well with Dark Bum and Child's Heart. It means we should have a, an easier time staying, uh, you know, flush with as many Spirit Hearts as possible. And this should be a deal with the Devil here. Yeah, we got a range upgrade, which is not that meaningful. Uh, the Pact is fantastic. I love the D. Wait, we don't need the Book of Allow because we don't need. We don't get the benefit of the extra deals with the Devil. So I think we reroll this. Yeah, that, that worked out much better for us, and then we can take the range upgrade. Um, I was thinking about it, though. Because I was like, well, Book of Belial, it's a nice damage bonus. When you use it, at least. But I think this works out better for us. I'd rather keep our D6 because it's so useful for us. Just in terms of, like, enhancing my enjoyment of the game. The D6 on the chest is like, that's if you're doing well, that's your victory lap, man. Is Just reroll and see how much ridiculous shit you can get. I hate amnesia, or, well, I guess this isn't amnesia, but you know what I mean. I hate not being able to see the map. I hate all the curses in their own unique way, at their own unique time in the game. Now, the sun card, admittedly, is kind of less useful now that I've given so much HP away, but that's a quality problem to have. Basically, we have a makeshift compass on whatever floor we, we want to use it on. Uh, and the floor that I want to use it on is probably the cathedral, just to speed that floor up. Because the reason I don't want to do it on the chest is because it's a bit of a... I'm of two minds about it. If you fast track the chest, it's good because the rooms are usually tough. But if you end up taking a little bit more time than... Like if you end up meandering because you didn't find the boss room right away on the, the chest, it's okay because the rewards are greater as well. You know, you have a greater tendency to get... Uh, well, if you get an iron chest, it gives you a guaranteed item. Whereas on the Cathedral, if you meander, you know, oh, some extra, you know, individual pennies I literally cannot use right now. It's not, uh, it's not as, uh, not as tempting. That's why I prefer to spend more time in the chest, less time in the Cathedral if possible. Alright, Dark Bum. You got that spider out of your system. Paid out with something useful. I appreciate it. Man, I was playing, um, I know that, uh, you know, the, the... Mac version of the game has sound, by the way. But I was playing the Mac version on the, uh... And just, I don't even know why I feel the need to defend myself by saying this. But it's my wife's Mac, dog. No, I'm PC forever. Right? I don't actually own a laptop, but my wife owns a MacBook. So I was playing it on the, the airplane. Mm, let's check this out. And I was playing with no sound because I was also watching a movie on the, the like, airplane at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that was good. I think that was actually a terrible decision. 
That's okay, though. I like making terrible decisions from time to time. And plus, you know, hopefully the more I use Libra, the more I get kind of, like, internalized the value of it, or, like, the use of it at the very least. Anyway, what I was getting at 15 minutes ago when I was talking about playing the game on the airplane is that I had no idea um, when the wall masters were coming. I had to memorize, like, the rooms that the wall masters showed up in because I didn't hear the... Whoa! By the way, that Libra pickup, you might be calling me an idiot, but it balances your stats, so it lowered my damage, but in return, it made it pretty much possible to just tap shoot it. I got a charge for like one, mm, yeah, I'll take it. I had to charge for like one-tenth the time, well, not one-tenth, but probably like one-third of the time that I was charging it before, so, you know, I don't know if it's actually raised our DPS, it's a little bit less burst damage-y, which is kind of annoying, but... Whatever. Yeah, let's let's test it out on this room. That's what I was kind of hoping for, to be honest with you. Is not necessarily. If there was two Guppy items, I would take him. Because there's only one Guppy item, I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll Guppy's collar probably. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm gonna walk into it by accident, and then we're gonna become Guppy somehow. <laughs> that seems to be the way it works out sometimes. Hey, it was worth it anyway. We picked up enough Spirit Arts to take us to the HP cap. So, yeah, was that Libra pickup good or bad? You know, from a pure damage standpoint, I would redo it. But uh, DPS is, is still up there. We just got to be on our game and, and actually uh, tap shoot a little bit more. It's still quite good. We should still win this run. Just a little bit of a slight maybe misplay, but it always you know teaches me a little bit more about not only the game, but about myself. And I think that's the most important thing of all. I, you know, this isn't really Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Reaver. This is more like Let's Play Northern Lions, you know, journey to discover who he really is as a person. I'll just let that one hang there like a like a moldy fart for a little while. Well, can't really do anything with that spirit art. Where did that spirit art come from? Is that the the enemy paid out with it? I'll be honest with you, I don't really care, but I needed to fill some dead air. Uh, I would care if I weren't at the HP cap, but I'm at the HP cap, I'm at the money cap, I'm at the combination HP cap and money cap, and, you know, bombs and keys at this point are not really that useful either. Finally! We have found our way out of um, what is basically like purgatory here. I I don't want Dark Bum to pay out yet. I want to see if like I can get Dark Bum to maintain the, that red heart bank that he's got and then pay out after I get hit, which I just did. So uh, I don't love Fear Shot on a lot of enemies. It's working out okay for us here, though. As long as we don't have enemies that teleport. I really want to avoid having to fight Chubb just because it's annoying. We should be able to do it. And what I would really love here is if... I think Monstro's Lung and Chocolate Milk would put us in like the same position we were in before where our shots take forever to charge, but they'd be dealing a lot more damage. They were already doing pretty good. But more is better. No red heart. Sometimes you get a red heart drop there, which would have been nice. I did get rid of Child's Heart, so to some extent I can't really complain about not getting red heart drops. Uh, but I did it for the guaranteed damage from Curved Horn. Eh, you know, we've had a run full of, of quality problems here, you know? Quality problem being, um... There's something to be said for going over in that direction, but... Uh, a quality problem being, you know, no matter what, we've got uh, some good potential solutions. You know, the, the wrong decision is still good. That's my definition of a quality problem. Now. I'm not even going to bother picking up those keys. I'll just wait till the creep dissipates. What happened here? Man? What happened here? Okay, so I Tomo was uh, messing around with the heating register. So I was like, Tomo, what's going on? And then the Ding Dong dropped the metagame down there. You know, like the whole deck of cards? So I had the I moved all the furniture out and I got some chopsticks and kind of wrenched the heater open. There were like 40 cards down there. Took them all out, murdered like seven spiders. Sorry to any any spider lovers watching this video right now. And then moved it back. So it is a little furry, but rest I, I took care of a, an extermination basically and also making sure that our apartment uh, doesn't catch fire. I think they're all out of there. But you can do your own due diligence as well. That, it was like that. I'd, I'd, I'd only like pull it open ever so slightly. I'll try to kick it back in or something. There you go. See, this is this is marriage right here. I break the things and she fixes the things. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be, but that, that's how it is right now anyway. 
Speaking of breaking things, uh, I'm gonna break. I well, I'm not gonna break in the traditional way. You know, I'm gonna break his bones and grind them to make my bread, and then I'm gonna fix myself a sandwich after this is done because I am getting a little hungry. But first things first, we've actually gotta you know, complete the run. I'm not totally like I'm not a hundred percent one yet. This is not a hundred percent one run. This is like an eighty-eight percent one run. In if you played this run eight times, you would probably expect that I would win seven of them. So I think as long as I just keep a good head on my shoulders, we're in a pretty good position. You know, the keys are obviously not going to be an issue. Just did a quick cursory glance to see if we had uh, left hand. Uh, and, and we can reroll the shitty items. So, you know, question becomes, should we take middling stuff or should we compromise? Or like, should we compromise and take middling stuff or should we accept no substitute and only take the best? Curse of the blind. Well, we don't have a choice. Uh, uh, this could be scary. Mom's perfume. Probably a little redundant. Experimental treatment. Kind of hate it, but eh, our tears are a little bigger. I think it means our damage is bigger. Cancer, okay. And SMB super. F I, all things considered, I can't really complain too hard about that, I think. Probably our damage has increased. And we actually can pretty much legitimately tap shoot, you know? Like, it was already fast. Our rate of fire, that is. It's faster now. So, uh, yeah, I would say that this is probably a, a guaranteed win. And, you know, for all the complaining I do about experimental treatment, I, I experimented with it a little bit while we were on our trip. Not that I spent the whole trip playing Isaac, you know, we did a lot of stuff. But uh, in, in my downtime, I played a lot of Isaac. And I, I took experimental treatment every time it showed up, and I ended up kind of... I wouldn't necessarily say I feel positive about it, but I ended up feeling not so negative about it, if that makes sense. There's never really a time when experimental treatment, at least to the best of my knowledge, has saved a run. But there's never been a time when a lot of items have saved a run. That doesn't make them necessarily universally bad. So I actually, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna experiment with taking experimental treatment more in some situations. Not all situations, but some situations. Uh, you know, honestly, it took us a long time to kill both of those cages, but we didn't get hit. Uh, which I think is a pretty good sign of, of how things are going. Now, Fear Shot is like a hard counter to Gertie Jr. I love it. One of the very few enemies where uh, that makes me feel better about Fear Shot. Not that Fear Shot is bad, but there are sometimes, you know, if, if I'm fighting Monstro with Fear Shot, I'm probably more likely to take damage than if I didn't have Fear Shot in the first place. So sometimes I'm like, why do I even bother taking this? And then I fight a room with two or three Gertie Juniors, and I go, oh, that's why, right? Because it, you know, is actually probably a net positive. Plus, it comes associated with things like damage upgrades and dark matter. So it's it's more than. A, like zero sum game. It's a positive. Wow, that is an awesome get for us. And it doesn't really matter whether uh, Dark Bomb pays out now or chooses to pay out a little bit later. Right, it paid out now. That's okay. Those spirit arts will become advantageous for us in the future. Don't really need the bomb, so I hope you'll forgive me for not taking them. I actually kind of like our Libra pickup now, too, but I think this legitimately was probably one of those runs where almost no matter what we did, we we're probably going to be totally fine. Didn't get any of the traditional kind of like run busting items, but well, except for the D6, I guess, but uh, did totally fine regardless. Nice run to come back from, you know, get a little bit of confidence, uh, you know, get reacquainted with the keyboard set up here and feeling pretty good heading into what is going to be a cane run next. A little bit less HP, a little bit higher luck. I can dig it. Not as much as I'm about to dig this sandwich, though. Now, it's weird getting used to doing comments here. Like I, I think most people, if they go on vacation, you know, they probably end up speaking more while they're gone than they do at their job. If you have like a, a job where you're not an actor or like I don't know, a teacher or something like that, when you go on vacation, you're probably you know yelling and speaking a little bit more than you normally otherwise would. For me, it's kind of the opposite. I, I'm normally a pretty quiet dude, so I got to get back to the habit of talking all the time and. All of a sudden, I'm like, Jesus, I don't, I really don't know what I'm talking about at all. How did I maintain this in the early, or not in the early days, but before uh, before I left? I got to relearn that skill a little bit. I hope it's not too atrophied. You know, it's like when you had summer vacation as a kid, and then, you know, 
Well, I guess this is kind of a product of a more modern age, but you'd have a summer vacation as a kid and you'd be using your computer all the time, then you go back to school and you're like, I forgot how to handwrite. I get that sometimes now. Like, the most nerve wracking thing I have to deal with now is like if someone asks me to sign something, like a credit card slip or, you know, I don't know, because I get asked for autographs all the time, basically like George Clooney. Um, but uh, if someone asks me to sign something, I'm like, all right, self. You know, you, you type 99.95% of your text on a keyboard these days, but just, you just don't fuck this one up. And oftentimes I do sometimes. You know, don't sign. If it says sign this, but don't put your signature outside of the box, man, that is like bullets sweating down my face. What a weird expression. Sweating bullets. Is that, like, really... It's because they're you're sweating bullets. It's like you're sweating big drops of sweat, right? Why bullets? I forgot I could fly. Um, why, not, why not, like, sweating... Shit, you know, now that I think about it, maybe bullets is the best that I could come out. They're kind of in the shape of a raindrop, but larger. What else is in the shape of a raindrop, but larger? Uh, your, your mother something. Just think about it. All right. So we will, um, well, we would have gotten a spirit heart if we killed Blue Famine last. We might still get a spirit heart as a result of the fight, but I think we needed to kill Blue Famine last to get it. We'll see. Are my mechanical knowledge things that rusty? Apparently not. Spirit heart. Yeah, okay, so I could be super diligent and go back and get the spirit heart, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go fight Blue Baby. And Blue Baby is going to be a little bit easier for us. One of the best times... Uh, one of the best things that uh, Lord of the Flies can do for you is help you out on this Blue Baby fight, because Blue Baby spawns uh, a ton of flies. Those instantly become your flies, except for the orbital ones, but those instantly become your flies, and they, they help out, and they do some extra damage, and I guess with Hive Mind, they're going to help out even more. Wait, why are those flies not becoming mine? That's weird. Maybe it's only the uh, like first level of flies, not the ones that actually shoot. Anyway, Blue Baby's dead. We didn't even get hit in the process. Ah, maybe we got hit once. Anyway, we... Now we've definitely been hit once. Pretty easy fight and a pretty easy run, all things considered. Thanks for watching. This has been a nice return uh, to the game for me, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.